If you want to learn how to create an epic motion poster for your products, then you've come to the right place. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the step-by-step -step process I used to create this epic product motion poster. I used the free online video editor called InVideo to create this epic product motion poster and there's a free template in the description that you can use to do exactly the same. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is create your free InVideo account. So click the link in the description and all you have to do is click on sign up, enter in your email address and choose a password and then click on create account. In order to create this epic product motion poster, I chose a blank canvas and I'm gonna go for wide dimensions. So then just go and click on make a video. Once the in video editor loads, you are just going to want to delete everything so you have a completely blank canvas. So I'm just gonna go and delete this caption and I'm also gonna delete this logo placeholder. We are going to start by editing the scene duration. So I'm just gonna go and click on this pencil icon and I'm gonna change this scene duration to seven seconds. The next thing you are going to want to do is add a background to your canvas. So you can use free websites such as VectEasy to download free vector images that you can use for the background of your epic product motion poster. Once you have found a background that you like, all you need to do is just upload this and drag it onto your canvas. So for my background, I'm using a simple gradient block that is the same colors as my product. Next up, you're going to want to get a picture of your product that has a transparent background. So you can just go and take a picture with your phone and then you can remove the background using InVideo's background removal tool. Once you have the picture of your product, all you're going to do is upload this and drag it onto your canvas and click on add as layer. Now you can resize this picture of your product so that it stands out really well. So I'm just gonna go and resize this and then all you need to do is just make sure that it's aligned to the center of your canvas. Now you can go and add some elements to your product motion poster just to make things a little bit more lively. So because this product is a drink, I'm just gonna add some ice cube elements to the video just to illustrate to the customer that this is the perfect thirst quenching drink. Now, once again, you can use a free website such as PNG Tree to find these types of elements for your video. And of course, make sure that you're adding elements that are relevant to your product. So once you have found some PNG elements, once again, all we need to do is just go and drag these onto our canvas and hit add as layer. So now I'm just going to resize this element gonna make it a little bit smaller and we are just going to go and put this around the bottom of the can and as you can see I'm using two different types of ice cubes for this video and this is just to add some visual diversity to the video now we can go and add some captions to our video so in order to do this we're just going to go to text and you can go and use some of the text styles or you can just go for a plain heading so I'm just going to go for a plain heading over here and then you can go and choose whatever font you like Make sure that you're using the same fonts that you use on your website so that you keep brand consistency. So I'm just gonna go to font over here and I'm gonna go and choose my own font. And now if we double click on the caption, we can go and type in whatever we want. So I'm just gonna go and put in our fresh new taste. Then over here, I'm gonna change the font size to 88. And then what I am gonna do is I'm just gonna tab this down. And now we can just go and we can drag this caption to the side over here. So once again, I'm just gonna make sure that it's horizontally aligned to my canvas and also aligned in the center of this side of the canvas. So now I'm gonna repeat that process and just add another caption to the left-hand side of the video. And this just adds some equilibrium to your video so that when the audience is watching the video, their eyes aren't drawn to any one side of the video. When it comes to the copy of the captions themselves, just make sure you keep it short and snappy and just try to sum up what your product is and the point you're trying to get across. So now we have all of our elements on the canvas. The next thing we want to do is add some animation to each of these elements so that the video is a little bit more exciting and visually engaging for the audience. If you are receiving value from the video so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more video creation content and give the video a big thumbs up. So firstly, we're gonna add some animation to the main product itself. So what we can do is we can click on this, we can go to animate, and then where we have the in animation, we can go and choose from different animations. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually gonna go and choose from up. So that means that the can is just going to fly in from above. Now I want to add some animation to the can once it's actually in place. So we can click on in place on here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and zoom in. So that just means it's gradually going to get bigger as the video plays. So now that we've added animation to our main product, the next thing I'm going to do is add some animation to the elements. So I'm gonna go and add some animation to these ice cubes. So what I want to do is I want the two ice cubes on the left to fly in from the left and the two ice cubes on the right to fly in from the right. So we're gonna go and choose this first ice cube element. Once again, we're gonna go and click on animate and then we can scroll down until we see the flight animation and I'm gonna go and click left. 
So that means it's going to fly in from the left. So now I'm going to do that with this second ice cube over here on the left as well. Now I've added that animation to the two ice cubes on the left. I'm just going to repeat the process for the ice cubes on the right. So once again, I'm going to choose this, but this time I'm going to scroll down to the flight animation and I'm just going to go and choose from the right. Finally, I'm going to add some animation to my captions. And once again, I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to have the caption on the left coming in from the left and the caption on the right coming in from the right. The next thing we are going to do is change the music for our video. You want the music to be relevant to your product and your brand. So I'm just going to go to music over here. And because this product is sort of icy and supposed to be sort of cool, then what I'm just going to come and do is I'm just going to go and type in cool. So I found this track over here called Rocking Cool Advert, and I think that suits really well. So I'm just going to click on these three dots and hit replace music. The next thing I want to do is add some sound effects to the video. So I want to add some sound effects that illustrate the product really well. So I'm going to add somebody opening the can and just taking a sip. Now I've already downloaded these sound effects and uploaded them, but if you're looking for the best free places to download non-copyright music and non-copyright sound effects, check out the other video that we have created on this. Once you have found and uploaded some sound effects that are relevant to your product, you can go to voiceover and click on import from my uploads. So firstly, I'm going to go for the can opening sound effect. So I'm going to click on these three dots and click on add as VO. Next up, I have a sound effect of somebody actually drinking a drink. So I'm just going to click on the three dots again and click on add as VO. Now we can zoom into our timeline so that we can go and trim those sound effects accordingly. So I want them sound effects to come in halfway through the video. So I can just come and bring the timeline down to three and a half seconds because the whole video is seven seconds. So now I can just drag this sound effect of somebody opening the can to three and a half seconds. Now next up, I want to go and trim the sound effect where somebody actually takes a sip. So I'm just going to go and trim this sound effect down and then I'm going to drag it back down over here and we can see this part over here is where somebody actually takes the sip. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start it where the sound actually peaks up. Then I'm just going to trim this like this and I'm just going to go and drag it next to my other sound effect. So now that they're right next to each other. So now if we just go and play those sound effects and we can see that they follow on perfectly from each other. Now what you can go and do is you can adjust the volume of your sound effects so that they don't overpower the music too much. So I'm just gonna go and click on this. I'm gonna go to volume and fade and where it says background audio dips to, I'm only gonna go and dip it to around 60% because I don't want the music to go too low and the sound effects to overpower the music. So now that we've added those sound effects, the last thing that we can do to make this video really visually engaging is to add a relevant overlay. So if we click more over here, we can go to overlays and then you can go and add an overlay to your video, but just make sure that it's relevant to your product. So I'm gonna add this overlay which has snow falling to my video because that's really relevant to the product, which is an ice cold drink. So now let's go and play our full video. So there you have it, an epic product motion poster for your products. If you want to learn how to create an epic promo video for your business, check out this video over here. And if you're interested in learning how to create an easy stop motion video, then check out this video over here. This has been Elliot with InVideo, and I'll see you in one of those videos.